Uh, today we are at Morambutu's place. Uh, we're doing a pump, the water pump. The area is 24 by 24 meters, uh, and it's in the baby in Mwendabi. This is an area that is considered to be a uh, lower catchment. The vulnerability study indicated that we are going to be having the same amount of rain, but for a very short time at very, very high intensity. What that translates into is um, that there are accompanying things like floods. Um, people are going to have to be displaced sometimes. We are going to have massive soil erosion and then that is going to be accompanied by uh, very long dry periods and there is going to be water shortage. So what we are doing with WWF is actually trying to promote water harvesting. That during the rainy season we harvest a lot of water and then we store it so that we can grow our crops during the dry season. Especially the high river crops like tomatoes, the brinjos, the sweet pepper, the watermelons and such. We are encouraging them to dig a, a dam and at the same time we are buying for them a dam liner. Uh, a small dam like this one would cost probably about 300,000 shillings or even more depending on the size of the dam. And that is done exclusively by the farmers themselves. We have funding from the Royal Netherlands Embassy. Out of the 41 initiatives that the people decided to undertake without the intervention of WWF, we just did five, then another 19, and then people picked up. They decided this is the right thing to do, and they have seen how the others benefited. For to one of them, and probably next year there will be many more, we were only able to fund 11 of them. We decided that we are going to be dealing with individuals, people whom we can quite easily call champions, people whom if we support, other people are, going, are likely to learn from them. The group is known as Kemikemi to Maini Jaguan Women's CBO, community based. In fact, with the WWF for the part of the material dam liners, as you can see here, which is going to support, help us to hold the water to empower our community or our families as individuals, as you can see here. This is an individual uh, project here. The water is not only for, for growing crops, it can be used to feed the crops, it can be used as the domestic in another way like washing. This job uh, can be done easily, first of all, uh, you need to prepare the place and having enough materials, you get the measurements, then uh, you cut the measurements according to the shape of the pit. Thereafter, you do the welding according to the length of the measurements of the material. Thank 
itakuja ukiangalia hiyo There after you need enough manpower of course around uh, 10 at least 10 or more men so that to make the work look easier then after that you give command on how you want the plastic to be pulled into the pit so you pull it step by step roll it down the pit on the base then you pull it up the pit Thereafter, you have to bury the edges so that to, to make the plastic be, hold, be held tight so as to avoid uh, any movement of the plastic on the edges. That's what we are doing right now. Before the rain comes, we want to have every dam has the dam line inside. Then when the rain comes, every family has a water. Areas in some parts you find there is no enough manpower you find uh, there is no enough space to spread the plastic. Uh, sometimes you go to areas where language barrier is a problem. So you need uh, to, to strain at least or to look for somebody to interpret. Or you look for a, a bigger place so that you can spread the plastic. Those are the main barriers. I'm proud of the job because uh, all the girls have been cooperative. Mm -hmm. I like the work very much because it's perfect. I've, gone, I've not seen any mischief. I'm happy about the job. We cannot stop climate change, but it is possible to think about ways of coping or living with a problem. We are quite happy that people have gotten to a level where they understand the problem and they know the solution, they know exactly what needs to be done. What is lacking is funding. So the next level would be to build capacity so people can be able to look for funding, either through their own initiatives on the farm, or through donors, through the government, or wherever uh, possible. We finished the first time out of 11, and we're going to continue with the rest in the next week. And we're so happy now that the community will harvest water. It's good. We're always looking for funding and for future projects like this. And if you're interested to help us, just don't hesitate to contact WWF. <laughs>